Hello everyone, I'm sorry again about the about the video, about the video interruption. <sighs> let me let me make up for it. I hope you can forgive me. Now, let's continue where we left off. Hopefully there won't be any interruptions, no goofs, nothing nothing of the sort that would bug me to no end. Pardon me. Right then, Solomon floated right through Solomon floated through my mind. I wonder if Solomon is busy with his work right now. When I thought of that, I feel a little guilty about us going out to town alone like this. Rhoda, is there anything you want to do? By the time Oz had asked me, I'd already made up my mind. I want to buy a present for Solomon. I want to go shopping. Shopping? That sounds quite nice. Then what kind of shop would you like to go to? Good question. I wonder where it would be best. Maybe an accessory shop would be nice? Oh, then just leave it to me. There's a shop that's selling stuff that'd be perfect for you over there. Hardman shot me a wink and pushed me toward a nearby accessory shop. <laughs> hey, Hardman! Shining accessories lined up the stall in front of me. Wow, they're beautiful. The beautifully, delicately de detailed craftsmanship made me sigh in delight. Hey, check this out. I think it'd look great on you. Hardman held up a beautiful sparkling gold necklace and held it out to me. It's so beautiful. I've never seen a jewel like this. <laughs> the jewel used in this is one of the Winkies' finest. Winkies? Yes, I remember that. Now turn around. I'll put it on you. Hardman put the sparkling necklace on my neck. What do you think? Do you like it? Y yeah, thanks. It's really beautiful and I just adore the design, but... The shop only sells women's accessories, so I might not find something good for Solomon. I can't buy my present here. What's the matter, Rhoda? Oh, nothing. It's really beautiful. Thanks, Hartman. I'll have to look for his present on my own a little later. I flickered the golden necklace, the cute necklace that my I've been knit about. Just what accessories would look good on Solomon? Something that would look good on Solomon. Maybe a thin ring for his beautiful fingers? When I imagined Solomon with a ring like that, a smile formed at my lips. You seem strangely mm, happy. Mm. You really, you really that giddy over what a tin man got you? <laughs> Solomon tele Wesley teleported in front of me all of a sudden and looked at me with excess, excess, excess. Uh, goodness gracious. Exasperated eyes. Doesn't look like it. Hmm? You were thinking about a certain someone who isn't here, aren't you? Weren't you? But no, I wasn't. Don't be silly, Wesley. That was close. Is it really that obvious what I'm thinking? Maybe this is rude to Hartman. I mean, he just bought me this necklace. He did just buy me this necklace. It really looks good on you, Rada. <laughs> good grief, this tin can's way too much of a nice guy. So, what's next? Any place you want to go to or see? Oz asked me. Good question. Well, Solomon did tell me to go and enjoy the Land of Oz, so... Um... It's been a while since I've been in Oz. The last time I was so concerned with getting home, I didn't really get a chance to know this land. That's it! I want to know the Land of Oz better! I want to know more about this world! You mean, like, the land's history? Yeah, all sorts of stuff, including its history. <laughs> Weirdo. Oh, Wesley, get over yourself. How am I getting the sevens? I'm not even trying! Well, not that I'm complaining. It's I like it. I really like it. I really, really, really like it. I <laughs> really. So, I wonder what this is now. Christmas contest!
How many of you think Solomon is a fairy? I think he's a fairy. He's a fairy. He has to be a fairy. Well, why not? Hey, you guys. How about explaining things to her? A good idea. Very well. Let us sit on that bench. We sat down on a nearby bench. Well then, shall I begin? This kingdom is surrounded by a large desert. Truthfully, it is a terrible, unsuitable place for human life. Yeah, seriously. There's freezing mountains to the south, to the north, swampland to the east, brown wasteland to the west, and a blazing hot desert to the south. So the ones who turned that inhabited land into a place where people could settle down were the wizards of the south and north, Lord Solomon and Norton. Lord Norton raised the lands to the south, to the north and west. Lord Norton, Lord Norton raised the lands to the north and east into inhabitable land, and it was Lord Solomon who handled the harshest of the lands, the south. And just look at it now. It's got this amazing city. These are all the fruits of Lord Solomon's labor. Wow. So that's how it went. I hadn't even imagined that the current Quadling land, Quadling city that used to be an unlivable desert. That's why Lord Solomon and Lord Norton are called the Good Wizards. It's ancient history, told over and over again. Pretty much everyone who lives here knows it, one way or another. So Solomon did something that big and important. When I thought that even the ever calm Solomon was such a period of hard labor, my chest tightened in pain. I know, this is a good so this is a good opportunity, so I'll ask about Solomon. Who should I ask? Wesley. Hey Wesley, can you tell me more? You're you asking me? Didn't you hear enough from the three stooges? It's not that. I want to know more about Solomon. You should know all about him, right? Well, as if to push away Oz, who had put on a reluctant face for some reason, Leonardo stepped in. I told you before, didn't I? Lord Solomon's the great wizard who made this country! Indeed, he's a wondrous man with no flaws to speak of. He has our, no, everyone's respect and is trusted by all. Sounds like Solomon really is something. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Wesley broke his silence to spit that out. You're making it sound like Solomon's some kind of omnipotent god, right? Right, Oz? I can't really say much myself. Oz's expression grew more and more reluctant. I can't... I had expected that. I would expect that Oz would know more, though. Wesley, what are you trying to say? I was a little drawn to Wesley's sudden, suspicious tone. Is there something more to Solomon? Hey, Wes hey, Wesley, what do you know about Solomon? Do you know something about Solomon? Wesley didn't answer me, but his face told me everything I needed to know. For some reason, asking about Solomon is a little scary, but I want to know. Wesley, please, tell me. <laughs> Fine, but one thing, there's something I want to ask you first. Wesley said as he looked me right in the eyes. Do you really think the reason you were called back to this world was just so you could have your birthday party? What? But that's what I was told. Rhoda. I seemed to struggle to speak up. As the wizards of the north and south, of the south and north, Solomon and Norton have great power, have special power, great power. Great power? Though the only people who know of that are Probably Wesley, the Wizard of the West, and myself. Right, Wesley? <laughs> Basically, there are things even the Three Stooges don't know. After shooting that poison, after shooting out that poison, Wesley brought his face closer to mine. Solomon and Norton are plotting something, something they're keeping secret from us. That can't be. Solomon plotting something? Wondrous magic power, that gentle smile, a man respected by all. That had to be Solomon, but the Solomon I saw yesterday. My mind flashed back to the harsh expression I saw in his face last night in the hallway. And the words Wesley just told me, is Solomon hiding something from me? Something really important? I'm sure it's for the good of the land. Why would he? If he's hiding a secret, it's obviously for a good reason. I trust him. 
I'm still curious about what it is, though. Wesley's just being a twit. But then again, he would have a better idea what's, what's up with... Anyway, I trust Solomon. I felt like all the scattered puzzle pieces were starting to come together. There might be a side of Solomon I don't know about. I want to know more, more about Solomon. I will probably have to go look for the missing, puzzle, missing pieces to finish this puzzle. Well, essentially. Wesley's voice pulled me out of my thoughts. Don't be too quick to trust him. That'll just get you hurt in the end. Wesley's warning passed right through me. To finish the puzzle, I had to find the final piece. My date with the five of them ended in an awkward party. Of course, I didn't get to buy Solomon a present. When I returned to the castle, the first place I headed to, headed for, was the throne room. Solomon? My right hand felt as heavy as it had turned into lead. I have to go. I have to find that last piece myself. I held my... I held... I held up my laden hand. My leaden hand with everything I had and knocked on the door. It's Rhoda! Yes? When Norton opened the door and saw me, he looked a little surprised. What could be the matter? You have come back rather early. There's something I want to ask you and Solomon. Oh, unfortunately, Lord Solomon is currently bit. I don't mind, Norton. I could hear Solomon's calming voice. Come inside, Rhoda. All right. Solomon and his friends! Let me speak of the lovely, of the lovable people around me. First, let us speak of Crowley, Hartman, and Leonardo. Crowley used to be a scarecrow, but now he's the admirable ruler of the Emerald City. Of the Emerald City. Admirable? There's a lot I learned from his intellectual curiosity and diligence. And diligence. Leonardo is a former lion. They called him the Cowardly Lion, but that's in the past. Now he's the brave king of the forest. The guardian tree of the forest, too, acknowledges Leonardo as a worthy king. Hartman used to be a tin woodman. Now he's the king of the Winkies. Since he rules with such a warm heart, his land is full of kindness. I'm pretty fond of the Winkies myself. They're all working hard as real lands, and the genuine love and bond that connect them to Rutter is truly wonderful. Oz used to be the ruler of the Emerald City. He's greatly respected in the land of Oz. People call him the Great Oz. I'm glad I was able to meet him, and more than anything, I love his magic truth. Then there's Wesley. He was feared as the wicked wizard of the West, but perhaps because he was reborn, or because, or because, perhaps because he met Rada, he started to change. I hope to watch how things turn out for Wesley. And we can't forget Norton. He's been my friend for a long time. Oz is here today because of Norton, and I hope to live up to his expectations and measure up to his trust. However, there's something I'm worried about, Norton. Not any concern. Not when I have Rhoda with me. I like Solomon. He's very warm. Well, that's all for today. I am Jandy the Artsy Rose, and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hmm. <sighs> well, I guess if it's gonna... <laughs> I guess if it's gonna do this, the least I could do is do what I add up. Hmm. I hope I have what I hope I have. I couldn't bring in. I couldn't accept Solomon's hat because I was out of space. Once I get paid, I'm gonna get a storage. I'm gonna get more. St I'm gonna get more space. I'm gonna get more closet space, storage house space. That would make a great house. I swear that would make a great house. That doesn't look like a storage. That's not a storage house. That is a castle. That's a freaking castle, <laughs> and no one can convince me otherwise. Now. I have a new hat for Solomon. 
Thank you, everybody. I am Jandy the Artsy Rose, and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye. Mm. And my brothers come home.